Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Starseed Zayed. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for more videos. This is a general reading for all. Okay, this is a February 2021 love reading for all signs. So if you see this video, this message was meant for you, okay? This is your message for love, February 2021. And so we're just going to shuffle our cards here, and then we're going to get started with the reading. I have one tarot deck, and then these two are both oracle decks. So we're going to start with the tarot, and then we'll go into the oracle. And this is a love reading for singles. So if you are currently uh, with somebody or in a connection with somebody, this is not the reading for you. And right off the bat, a card fell out. So I'm going to pick it up. We have the Hermit. <laughs> uh, looks like for some of you, you don't want love this month. But let's find out more information first before I jump into anything. Okay, justice. Feels like some of you are going through a breakup. Nine of Cups. So th these are the first three we have thus far. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, this is the one, the Moon, oh they said draw one more so I will do that, sometimes I hear them and they, they tell me uh, what I should and shouldn't do and they are telling me to Okay, nice. They're telling me to draw another card, and it's the Queen of Pentacles. Just want to move things around here. I'm sorry for that little flash there. Here, let's move her here. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you guys who have... Who have seen this video who are seeing this video okay this is your message in terms of love this is a message for all signs there's a real emphasis in work here we see that with the ten of pentacles the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles and also the seven of cups so what the seven of cups uh, could also be referencing is a lot of um opportunity like there's a lot of uh I don't want to say Twin Flame because I don't feel that, but I do feel that there is opportunity there for you to be in a relationship. And that there are quite a few people here uh, that have been interested in you or they've been looking at you as of late. Uh, there's quite a few people here, okay? You do have a lot of options. I don't feel like for most of you this is a Twin Flame connection. Uh, part of me feels that this might be a... Uh, an intimate relationship, a friendship, okay? But for some of you in the collective, uh, there there is a chance of Twin Flame connection because we see the doves. And whenever we see the doves there, we're looking at a long-term life commitment, we're looking at marriage, okay? We're looking at a huge uh, foundation. We also have the castle here. So we're looking at uh, setting a foundation for us, a household, okay? A married life. That's what we're looking at. So there could be, for some of you in this, um, in these choices, there could be an option there that actually is a twin flame. Now, don't get nervous if it's not your twin flame. Just understand that eventually, once you separate from this new connection that is coming in, you will get on the path to meeting your soulmate, your twin flame connection. Okay, this upcoming relationship that some of you might find yourselves in this February it could be 
more lessons that you are needing to be taught. Uh, but with that Hermit card, it seems to me like a lot of you have been single for quite some time now. You haven't really been talking to anybody. So you, you've sort of been a little bit isolated, okay? We, you, you, you've been single, you've been waiting, okay? With that Justice card, you're, you're sort of looking for balance, okay? The universe is like, okay, you've been single long enough. It's time for you to uh, put yourself out there and date and get to know other people okay it does feel like you went through a rough breakup here with somebody there was a hardship of sorts with your previous relationship uh, i do feel that for some of you you were married to this person and then it ended in divorce okay so there, there was a little bit of separation for a lot of you in the collective okay of this general reading this is a reading for all signs so for some of you that was your situation and you've sort of been uh single for quite some time now and you haven't really put yourself out there so it's, it's sort of like the universe wants to balance that out okay you've been single long enough it's time to put yourself out there and that's why we see this moon card here we're seeing the breakaway of illusions we're seeing uh, a breakaway and you know it's a breakaway of the illusions it's, it's sort of like coming into the light and you were sort of uh, hidden a lot of you in the collective here you were sort of hiding yourself and you weren't really putting yourself out there in terms of dating or getting to know other people and so it's like this is your this is your moment okay it's time for you to to come out okay it's time for you to uh, break away from the shadows and show up full force now we have ten of pentacles and nine of cups so there is a huge emphasis here in your work and you've sort of been really focused in your work and in your career so there has been an emphasis on that now there is a little bit of a warning here because we have the we have rats here so just be uh cautious with the people that you associate with because it feels to me like you guys in this reading who have come to this reading who found this reading okay this message is meant for you so i'm getting the message here that you need to be careful with your wealth and who you are sharing your wealth with uh who are you letting know about your wealth because it feels to me that there are people around you that simply want you for your money and they don't really want you for anything else and it could also be this uh one of these romantic connections over here you need to be careful it could be that this person sees the car that you're driving or that you have a new phone or that you have a nice apartment and they might want to stick around not to actually get to know you but to take your wealth okay we have the queen of pentacles here as well so this tells me that you guys are on the path forward to financial prosperity and abundance and you're very good with money management um or you're getting to that place where you've gotten the opportunity that is going to get you that or you started a business that's going to get you to this place of abundance and financial prosperity your investments okay it could be a multitude of things that you have going on that is going to eventually lead you with a lot of money okay and in a power full financial situation this february of 2021 and onward but with these rats here and the ten of pentacles you just have to be careful because it could be that somebody in your inner circle and that somebody very much could be uh this new connection that's coming in uh you just gotta be careful because they might just want your money and so don't be scared to cut this connection if that doesn't work out, if you see that this person is just wanting to be around you for your income, your wealth, what you're able to bring to the table every night, uh, if they just want you for that, don't be afraid to cut them out and put boundaries because you have other people that are also interested in you. You have a lot of other people that are looking at you right now, okay? So let's uh, figure out who some of these people are. So that was your first part of the love reading. Let's go over here. Let's shuffle the deck. So you do have a lot of options, okay? Oh, this just wanted to fly out. Okay, nine of wands. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, they seem to be reiterating this. It's like you left a, um, 
a previous relationship or a marriage, um, things didn't really pan out the way you had hoped, and so it, w it was a losing situation. And you might be going through this now where you're uh, about to leave this person, and Spirit is really saying for you to, yes, go ahead. Okay, so yeah, they they really want to emphasis the Seven of Cups again. They're, they're saying that you have a lot of options. And now what I'm getting is that for some of you, this is a person that you may already know. This could be a, a previous friend or somebody that was in your inner circle. I do get that. It could also be somebody that went to your high school. Okay, um, for some of you, this love connection coming in is somebody that is... Okay, so for some of you, you're going to get lucky because the person that you're meeting is a twin flame connection here. And this person is very wealthy. They're well off. They have the abundance, okay? They're not going to be looking for your money or your income uh, because they have their own situation going on where they're set up. They're financially well off. And so for some of you, this is a twin flame connection that is coming in February of 2021. Uh, but just keep in mind that you know your your heart was a little jaded with what happened in your past relationship and don't let that get in the way of this because this person uh really does care for you i feel for a lot of you this is somebody that's uh you you already know this person or you've seen this person maybe at work or at the gym uh yeah or you know them from a friend of a friend. Like, you don't know know them, but you know, you, you've heard of them. And yeah, they're, they're like in the inner circle of uh, a friend of yours, of another friend. I don't know if that even makes sense. But you understand, like, you have a friend and then they have a friend. You're not really close to that friend. But then that friend that is friends with your friend uh, knows this person. And... I feel that that is how you guys are going to meet. I also feel like this is somebody that may have went to the same college as you, to the same university, uh, or even uh, high school, even. I'm getting that. Again, there's, there's a lot of people here, okay? There's a lot of options for you guys here in terms of new love. But for some of you, this is Twin Flame Connection. Oh, I felt the energy. Okay, the fool. So this this new love coming in in February of 2021. So for most of you, there is, there very much is love coming in. And for most of you, this new love, this person uh, is a little bit adventurous, okay? They like to travel. They like to explore. They like to try new things. They definitely like to go on dates. So that is something that you are going to uh, experience while you're with this person. Okay, so I, I just I just got something with the Seven of Cups. They just told me Tinder. So some of you will meet this person on Tinder, okay? You will meet this person, uh, one of these people, because some of you have several people that are eyeing you. You might meet this person on Tinder. And again, this person might be somebody that you already know from a friend's friend. So you might just be browsing Tinder and then, wait a minute, do I know this person? You might actually uh, end up in that situation. So very, very interesting, very interesting messages. Oh, I took those two out, then I will keep, wow. Okay, we have the sun and we also have four of cups. Okay, so what I get here, uh, excuse that pen, it fell. But what I get here is with that sun and that four of cups is, leave behind whatever happened in your past with the previous relationship uh don't let it get in the way of this new relationship that's coming in this month okay because it's it's going to weigh you down and that four of cups like that previous relationship okay so for those of you that wanted to know about this previous relationship i would probably do a separate video uh, talking about is there a chance with this person can you end up back with this person um do they still have feelings for you i'll probably do a video talking about this but with this four of cups uh we're seeing here that these cups are empty uh it really doesn't feel like there's 
a connection with that previous relationship and this new cup coming in it really feels like that is new love okay that's a new connection from this seven of cups okay and with that sun we're looking at creation we're looking at something brand new coming in okay and it's a relationship that is really going to be enjoyable and so what they're saying is for you to really get into this nine of wands energy and really just let go of move past that previous relationship that previous connection because it feels to me like that really didn't work out for you guys so they're saying to move forward with uh, with this new connection, okay, with this new love. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, you do have a lot of people that have been eyeing you, they're sort of interested, they've sort of been watching you, so don't, don't be scared to pursue a new connection, okay? So, you have a great, great reading thus far. You really do, you guys. Um... I love what I'm saying so far. There's really a good sign for love here. That was not as ideal as I wanted it to be. Okay, yes, we have winter. Here, let me let me do this again. Because I don't like how that came out. I love I love this uh, deck. This is the um, Angels and Ancestors by Kyle Kyle Gray. I love it, but it's just I want to, you know, and it's hard because the cardstock is very good quality. So we're just gonna try again. If not, then yeah, I'll just I'll pull the card out. Mm, which one? This one. Oh, release the old and rest. What was I saying this reading? That is incredible. I love this. I love when spirit just, spirit's like, you're gonna, oh, okay. <sighs> what? Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. Like, out of all the cards, this is the, uh, this is really the only card about love. Um, there is another card, but it's more about sex and the sexual energy. But this is really about love and i love that this came out in this reading because it goes so well because this is a love reading okay for february 2021 so we have winter take care of your needs we have autumn release the old and rest and we have heart guardian love and let yourself be loved so remember i was saying uh here you, you gotta process what happened and move forward. And we definitely see that with this card as well, release the old and rest. Yeah, I was getting the feeling that that connection, that previous connection that you had with this person, it was, it was already over. You know, I will do a future video talking about that if they, uh, if they wish to pursue something with you. But right now, I really just don't see it. I don't feel it. I feel that it's time for you to move on and to you to love yourself and explore other options, okay? Like I said, you got that Seven of Cups, so there's a lot of people that have been really... They've been eyeing you, okay? You guys, you guys are attractive and you've been getting checked out, <laughs> literally. So they've been, they've been looking at you. They've been looking at you. Nectar of life. There we go. So enjoy life. Enjoy the sweetness of life. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. It, okay. Cellular healing. Cellular regeneration. Let me... So, um... This is all about you releasing the old. And spiritually, when you do that, the spiritual foundation, the molecular foundation of your spiritual body changes and it heals, okay? Because you're no longer holding onto what is weighing you down, what is making you sad, okay? It did feel like you went through a very hard um, breakup, a very hard separation for a lot of you with this uh, previous person. And so you have to make peace with yourself and move forward and just, you know, you gotta take it day by day, um, but you also gotta start enjoying the sweet things in life, okay? The things that you really love to do, the things that are you are passionate about. Oh my gosh loved ones okay so there seems to be um they just want to put this out there that 
there are people watching over you from the other side, okay? Friends, family, okay, ancestors that have passed on to the other uh, dimensions, okay? They are with you, okay? I don't know if you see that, but that's like, it kind of looks like a woman and she has these wings here. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, they are with you in spirit. They are watching over you. You are not alone in this situation and this hardship that you find yourself currently in. Okay, you are being watched over. You are being guided. They are looking after you. So they just want me to emphasize this because you really have felt alone thus far in your journey and you really have questioned whether you're going to ever find love. And they're telling you to keep going, to not give up. Okay, so... That is your reading, you guys. This message was meant for you if you came across it. I'm truly blessed if you came here to hear this message. And I wish you much love. Remember, open up your hearts and everything will work itself out. Alrighty, take care and namaste. I wish you much love.